Hello, this is Ahana, bedtime, bedtime story. The food for everyone. Yeah, food for everyone. Uh, Second Kings, chapter 4, 42, 44. Uh, people, people for, uh, all over Israel were running out of food. They were hungry. One man brought 20 loaves of bread to Eliza. Eliza said, feed the people. The man said, we can't feed 100 men with so little bread. Eliza told him to start feeding them and uh, there would be bread left over sure enough. Uh, that's what happened. So uh, Eliza was not doing these miracles in his own power. God was helping him. What miracle? What miracle do you think happened next? Yeah, let's go. The seven dips in the Jordan River. Seven dips in the Jordan River. Uh, Second Kings 51. Uh, 5, 1 through 14. Naaman, an important soldier, had a, a terrible skin disease called leprosy. Leprosy, yeah. Uh, people who had people who had leprosy could not come close to other people. They had to live in leper lepers. Uh, Towns. Naaman's wife, uh, wife's servant girl said, I wish my master could meet Eliza. He would hear him. So Naaman went to, Naaman went to f uh, find Eliza. Wash in the Jordan River seven times and you will be healed. Eliza said, Naaman was embarrassed. Embarrassed, embarrassed. What Eliza told him to do seemed silly. And but he went to river, went to the river to wash himself, and on the seventh time, the leprosy disappeared. So either if a dip in the river would make you well from a uh, terrible skin uh, sickness, would you do it? Yeah, so even if it seemed silly, yeah, you can do it. I can too. Uh, uh, a floating axe, a floating axe. Second Kings, uh, chapter six, one through seven. Uh, some men were building a meeting house for Eliza, as they were happy, uh, as they were chopping down trees for the house, an axe broke. The metal part fell into the river and sank. The man who was using it yelled, that was an axe I borrowed. Yeah, that's not his own, the borrowed axe. Eliza threw, threw a stick into the water and the iron axe had plodded up. So, wow, it's really like uh, the per, per favor. Yeah, the wow, an uh, axe has a uh, heavy and can't float. Honest, God makes them do it. God can do anything. Yeah, really funny story, no food. In case of Eliza, there are lots of the story, miracle story, no food. Second Kings chapter 6, 24 through 25, 7, 1 to 9, chapter 10, 7. An army surrounded the city of Samaria, and no one could go in or come uh, out nor come out. The people in the city had no food. God told Eliza to say that tomorrow there 
well, there would be lots of food about that time. Four men decided to see if the, the enemy would give them something to eat. When they got to the camp, there was no one there. Yeah, the soldiers had uh, run away. Why? Yeah, leaving all their food and gold and clothes. At first, the men started to hide the treasure for themselves, but then they decided to share. They told the people in the city, and soon everyone had enough to eat. It was just as Eliza said it would be. Yeah. Those four men were not selfish. They could have kept everything they found for themselves, but they didn't. What do you think God wanted them to do? Yeah, if you have that kind of case, what do you do uh, like that to do? The baby prince. Here, the baby prince. Second uh, Kings chapter 11, 1 through uh, 12, 2. Uh, Joash was a baby prince. Uh, his grandmother was evil. She wanted to kill him to so kill him so she could be queen and Joash's aunt hid him in God's house until he was seven years old. Then uh, soldiers came to God's house and got him. They made him king even though he was just a Little boy, Joash ruled for 40 years in Jerusalem. He did what God said was right. He did. He did. <laughs> so, if you were made king today, what would you do first? What would you do first? The sun goes backward. Yeah, sun, sun always goes forward, but uh, this sun it go to backward. Second Kings, uh, twenty one through eleven, Isaiah thirty eight. Hezekiah, Hezekiah was a good king. One day he got very sick. He knew he was going to die. He prayed and asked the God to let him live a little longer. Then to be sure that God had heard him, Hezekiah. Hezekiah asked for the sun to go backward. He asked for the shadow that was at the bottom of the steps to go back up ten steps. And just as he asked, the shadow moved back up ten steps. And Hezekiah lived thirty more years, fifty more years, yet yeah, did. So, for the sun to move backward would be as amazing as falling up instead of down. It was a miracle. Yeah, captured. Captured. Second uh, uh, Kings twenty four eighteen through twenty five twenty one. Second Chronicles thirty six fifteen through twenty three. Over and over, God had warned his people not to worship idols, but they kept right on doing what God had told them not to do. Not to do. So finally, God let an enemy capture his people and take them from the land he'd given them. They were taken far away to a place called Babylon. It was a sad day. Yeah, sad day. So God wants us to do to present time now what is right. And he's very patient. But if we continue to do wrong, we will have, have to suffer the consequences. Yeah. So beautiful Queen Esther. So the Esther one through five, one, uh, one through three, three years later, the Persian kingdom 
defeated Babylon, but God's people were still living in the land of Babylon. One of them was a young woman named Esther. The king of Persia wanted a beautiful young woman to be his queen. He picked Esther. The soon afterward, one of the king's men decided to get rid of all God's people in the kingdom. Since Esther was one of them, it meant he would get rid of her too. So it must have been a very, uh, very, very scary time for Esther. What do you think she did? Yes, the, Esther saves her people. Esther saves her people. Uh, Esther was four through nine. Esther knew it, knew it was up to her to save her people. Uh, she also knew that if she visited the king and he got angry, she wouldn't be queen anymore. The king could even have her killed. What should she do? Esther decided to go to the king anyway. When she went, the king granted her wish that her people would be allowed to leave. Yeah. So uh, Esther was so uh, very brave. She did what, what God wanted her to do. And because she was brave, she saved her people. Yes, Esther. Yeah. You're going to be an Esther lad. Yeah, an honest man. Honest man from Job 1, uh, verse 1 to 12. Job was an honest man who loved God. He had a big family and was very rich. Everything he did pleased God. Then Satan, the enemy of God, yeah, um, and that man, uh, went to go and said, you are protecting Job from anything going wrong. That's why he obeys you. All right, said God, you can do anything to him except take his life. Satan is very real. He doesn't like God and he doesn't like us. But Job was, Job was about to find out uh, that God is always with us. When bad, yeah, when bad things happen, Job 1, 13 through 2, say, uh, chapter 10, awful things began to happen to Job. His children, yeah, his children died. He ho his house fell down. He got store. He got sores, uh, so sores all over his body. His cattle were taken away by robbers. His friends uh, 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 told him to turn away from God. So how do he? How did he? But Job never doubted that God loved him. Job was uh, faithful to God even in. Uh, in hard times, so when when bad things happen, it, it doesn't mean God has forgotten about us. He's never far away in the bad times, and He wants us to continue to love and obey Him. So almost time, I think. <laughs> I I wanna check. I wanna. Check. 14 minutes. So, thank you. You got uh, uh, yeah, time for a uh, time for everything. Time for everything. 30 minutes, seconds. Egregious ST 3138. There is a time for everything. That happiness is our lives. There are happy times and there are sad times here, like this. Yeah. So there are times when we cry and times when we laugh. There are times to hug and times not to hug.
there is a time to be silent and a time to speak. Uh, a little bit of everything happens in our lives. The important thing is uh, to 